Hello, this is Sweet Jesus here. I wanted to share a dream that I had yesterday morning. And um, it kind of goes along with a couple things that I have um, seen. And I'm just trying to make sense of it all. So maybe we can have an open discussion. I um, also, I'm just learning to be <laughs> more patient because I know the Lord showed me and said very clearly, I come in like a wrecking ball and it had to do um, with the stage and a throne like the next person, you know, the president, the White House. So um, just being patient because I know he is going to do what he says. Um, we just, it's his timing. So I hope that um, you guys are all doing well and um, maybe you have something you want to share um, that goes along with my dreams. And God, I love you. I thank you so much for everything you do. And we just pray for this world and everybody to give their life to you. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> all right, so... I'm just going to start from the beginning, guys. I, um, <clears throat> 2000, oh, I think it was the beginning of 2017, I was in church and I just got these words, I put Trump in office. And I knew it was from the Lord. And I, um, a couple days later, when my mom got back from, she was out of town and she was in another state and she was at church that same morning with relatives and I told her that I said God gave me a very clear message that Trump is in there he put him in there and uh, she was like oh my gosh I got that message in church when I was singing out of the hymnal and it came in very clearly the Lord put Trump in office for a reason so then um, <clears throat> you know watching Trump I liked him because he was for Christians and um, I had a dream, and this was the beginning of 2019 in January, and I didn't think much of it, but then the Lord took me back to it, I don't know, about three weeks ago, four weeks ago, and I'm going to share that dream first. I was walking up to this bridge, and I was looking up in the sky, and there were planets, like a planetary system in the sky, and they were spraying the sky, so they were covering it up. And then there was one other lady next to me, and I just said, oh yeah, they're covering up this, this whole you know planetary system, so nobody will know it's there. And she was like, yeah, I know. And then I walked up on this huge arched bridge, nobody around, I got to the very top, Sitting on a throne like chair by himself was Donald Trump. And I thought that was odd in my dream. Why is he all by himself at the very top of this huge arched bridge? And um, I went up to him and I gave him a big hug and I was like, thank you for what you're doing for our country. And, and I said, my parents and I really appreciate it. And he smiled, and in the dream, he was very kind and humble, and he just, he let me talk, and I was nervous because he was the president, and I was getting a chance to talk with him, but that was the end of the dream. I mean, I felt good about it, but then I'm thinking it's on the top of an arch, is that the Arch of Baal, and the, the, like, planets in the sky and the spraying of the skies covering up does that have to do with I guess the beast or whatever you know acting like God on the throne and showing wonders in the heavens is that what that was about um, I'm just putting that out there because the Lord brought me back to it and you know Two years ago, I wasn't thinking about that at all. I was thinking about, oh, I had this wonderful dream with Trump. He was by himself, and I hugged him. I told him he was doing a good job, you know. But was that about him fooling Christians? Was that, it was, I don't know. I'm just telling you what happened. 
And then um, <clears throat> I had the beast, uh, I'm sorry, the red dragon appear within the last month and with a woman. And then the next night, um, some loved ones of mine who absolutely adore Trump were sitting inside the dragon, the dragon car and um, called it the dragon and it looked just like the dragon from the night before. So that made me wonder. Um, and then <clears throat> I had the word said to me when I asked the Lord, can you give me anything about Trump? And I just got the words, strike the heel. And that has to do with, you know, the woman like Garden of Eden hits the serpent on the head, wounds the head, and the serpent bites her heel. Well, I don't know. I don't know if that was of God or not. I'm just saying that's what I heard. And then I had this dream yesterday morning. And it started off where I am walking down this very narrow path in between all of these absolutely beautiful bright white houses very um, historic looking houses ornate detailed and i walked to the end and there was a beautiful now this is a god thing and god does this in some of my dreams he'll show me something that's not of this world and it's like something you would see in heaven so i see this amazing tree i've never seen here before with these godlike birds all in it. And so I'm really close to them and I'm just in awe over them. And um, I think I even tried to take a picture of them. Black and white, just beautiful. And they were just everywhere. And I was like, just up close with them. And then it took me to, I was outside kind of like at a, table outside it was kind of weird so I was sitting at a table outside and all of a sudden this boy dumps water on my knee cold water three times and I'm like stop it stop it stop it <laughs> and finally I looked up and it was weird because he he it was kind of like you need to wake up you need to see things a little differently Okay, that's how I took it. And um, so I told the mom of the kid who did that was like, oh, okay, yeah, he's sorry. He won't do it again. And then I look and I see like there, they lived in like a white house. And it was like right across the street. And they had this, their pet. And okay, it was a pet tabby cat, which is kind of the orange and white cat. But it was like a human. So it was standing up, um, walking like a human, but it was a cat. But it reminded me of Trump um, in the dream. And I know tabbies, you know, they're very like mouthy cats. They like to meow, talk a lot. Um, so this cat had a, um, its paw that it was holding up, almost like it was holding up, like it was talking like a microphone, using it as a microphone was wrapped in purple, some kind of purple cloth, okay? So it had one purple paw. And it's, and I knew it was like an older cat and it, everybody was in awe over this cat because it was acting like a human. And then I was shown across the street where the cat lives. And I saw the cat leaving in like a row, like a row of, um, um, it was leaving with a row, like just like, um, you know, like you would go, um, on a parade or something. And then it came back and it, there was a garden in front of the house and this tabby cat who was walking like a person hit his head on a vine, a brown tan vine in the garden and was like, ow, you know, I hurt my head. And, but it's okay now, is what he said. And I, and um, then it went straight from there to, I was on a bench at a different location. I, I felt like it was a different location because the house was no longer there. 
and there were some trees and all of a sudden behind the trees comes the top of a hot air balloon and it has Halloween stuff all over it and it has um, just horrible words and um, pictures images on it and it goes back to all my Halloween stuff and my video on my Halloween stuff and um, if you remember the Halloween well I'll, I'll let me finish the dream so the um, so then the balloon is like in front of me and this it says the woman got onto the balloon well so I look over there and the person who got on the balloon I saw the whole back of them and it looked just like Obama like the hair was really short like it was Obama but it was just the back of the person but they said woman so I'm like why did they say woman and then it started to take up take off I'm sorry up into the air this hot air balloon that is got Halloween and it's got Satan stuff all over it and it's and it's floating up in the air with this person on it that was said to be a woman but it looked like Obama from the back um, not sure what that means um, they're like combining Harris and Obama because I know Obama wanted Harris in in office as vice president I don't know how to do with Obama being I don't know I don't know so that's what I saw but it definitely took me back to the Halloween dreams where I had um, the like Trump what I had a knowing of Trump and Obama they were married in the dream and there was a baby Obama was the one that was gonna have this baby and had a jack-o-lantern on the belly and it looked like Trump got assassinated but it was a shadow of Trump and um, and the jack-o-lantern like scary baby belly was hanging over the balcony um, like in something you know oh I'm trying to think of the president who got assassinated Lincoln and um, and they were like we can do whatever we want now and then the very next night with the Halloween dream with the White House and the ferocious black dog on the porch of the White House and the lady that looked like Obama who went over and kicked the black dog and it was Halloween again on that night um, so anyway I, I just want to put all that out there the stuff I've had with Trump the stuff I've had with Obama the stuff I've had with Halloween and um, and then this balloon thing I would love to hear your thoughts because I'm kind of confused if they're all just got their own evil going on or if I'm being tricked and it's just Obama and um, or if it, you know if it's Trump too so anyway God bless you guys and I will talk to you